Thousands of gun rights activists are gathering in Richmond, Virginia. Gun rights supporters rallied outside of Virginia's capital. Virginia's governor had declared a state of emergency, hoping to avoid a repeat of the deadly protests in Charlottesville in 2017. The extra security came following the arrest of three members of a white supremacist group threatening to come to the rally to cause a race war. A gun safety group canceled its own demonstration today after what it called credible threats to public safety. and to make sure that we're represented. Black people and people of color are the people that are disproportionately affected by this issue. So I came out here to represent them and also for my dad. I lost my dad to gun violence at eight years old. So I've been personally affected by this issue in everyday gun violence. The fact that um, they're able to carry these so freely, I mean, my safety at harm and everyone's safety at harm. And I wish people would realize that when lives are being lost, you don't need access to these military -like weapons. I pick up a really big day um, here outside the NRA headquarters. Um, me and uh, 12 other young people from March for Our Lives have wrapped up. Uh, a 24-hour marathon inside the General Assembly. It's been incredible. I mean, we had to sleep in offices, and there were 13 of us. And in my humble, biased opinion, we made a bigger impact than they did. The work we did and the, the power we brought with 15 students outweighed um, you know, the small minority of Virginians that were represented by the 22,000 gun owners that were out there is absolutely insane and just shows the power of the youth. Time for change, and change is coming out. The way we're going to win this is by using love. Love of humanity and love for people that are all around us. That's something we have that I really truly believe the other side lacks. 